We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah. Just be happy, damn it. Twas the night before Christmas. <laughs> no, this is my Aunt Mary's sour cream cheesecake recipe. My wonderful Aunt Mary Napolitano from California. I brought this recipe back home with me. And yes, we did make it at times in the last uh, handful of years or two or three handfuls of years at the bakery. Uh, Around the holidays. This is without the 85 ingredients where they had preservatives and all kinds of chemicals and stuff. This is just uh, a natural thing. What I would like to do is to introduce you to the ingredients. Two 8 ounce boxes of cream cheese. Okay. And then you use a pint of sour cream. A pint is, I believe, 16 ounces of sour cream. And the two eggs. And a half a cup of sugar and about a half a teaspoon of uh, vanilla flavor. If you want to make sour cream cheesecake with the Philadelphia cream cheese, the best way to do this is to have this at room temperature. We're going to put these Philadelphia cream cheese in here. And we'll put in both eight ounce packages and then we're going to increase the speed a little bit. Make it nice and creamy for a while. Let that go. Okay. And we're going to have to scrape this down because that's how it is when you're working with cream cheese. It just kind of clumps, doesn't it? Okay, well, we're going to try that again. Do that several times. And now this time we're going to start adding the sugar and the vanilla and then we will add one egg at a time so we're whisking the cream cheese till it's nice and creamy we added the sugar I'm going to pull it down one more time and it's going to taste wonderful and thank goodness for our little mixer we're going to have something that's not all full of clumps <laughs> like I usually make it. It's amazing how, I, how I'd how i make it with cold cream cheese and it would be all clumpy and everything but you know what it would still taste wonderful after it's made so that's a plus. Oh and the other ingredient is the pie crust which I buy. I will be pulling that out of the cupboard. So what we're going to do is again we have two eight ounce packages of cream cheese that we are whipping. We've got a half a cup of sugar in there. I'm going to put one egg in at a time. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put the cream cheese or the egg first, but let's just put something in there. a teaspoon of vanilla but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more like, like a full teaspoon and the recipe calls for two-thirds of the sour cream you put two-thirds of the sour cream into the mixer and you save about a third and that's why you're saving a third because what you're doing well, it's about a third because what we're going to do at the end is we're going to bake it and then we're going to go ahead and and take it out cool it and put a little sugar into the sour cream and then put that on top of your cheesecake and bake it one more time so it's twice baked cheesecake we'll just get that a cranking Time we're shutting it off. And shut it off and just scrape it again, make sure we got everything. We're gonna go ahead and pour this into our 
pie shell. There we go. And with my experience with making this, if there's if if it's not all perfectly creamy, it will still melt when you cook it, and it'll be wonderful just the same. If you were to taste this right now, it would taste like a cheesecake. Okay. However, after you cook it, the flavor goes away. Refrigerate it, and the next day tastes like a cheesecake again. So, one time I was making a batch of cheesecakes at my. Uh, family's bakery. I had the, brought the recipe from California and I tasted the batter and it was wonderful. And then after I uh, cooked it, I, I, I tasted a little and I said, my, I think I messed up. I don't know what I did wrong. And she said, no, 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 just put it away. Put it in the refrigerator. It'll be fine. So I don't know where the taste goes after you bake it, after you make the cheesecake and then it doesn't taste like cheesecake till the next day after it's refrigerated overnight, or maybe five or six hours in it, tastes like a cheesecake again. So we're gonna put this, I could make that a little smoother, but we're gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes at 375, and then we're gonna take it out and cool it, and then we're gonna mix uh, half a teaspoon of sugar with the rest of this topping, and then we're gonna put, the, after it cools, we're gonna put that up, spread that on top, and then we're gonna cook it again for at 400 for about Five minutes, ten minutes. Five oh, to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. That's yes. why my wife's got one hand up and then another hand on the side. Okay, so uh, because of ill planning, the oven is still heating up. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in. Okay, so it's been a little bit over twenty minutes. I let it cook another couple minutes. You don't want it where it's all watery. It's gonna be moving a little bit. It's gonna be jiggling a little bit, and I think that that should be fine. And so we're going to take this out. And again, it said cool it down for about 15 minutes. Okay, this is rested for 15 minutes. Cool down a little bit. And it's not so jiggly, see? And you can actually touch it very lightly without it sticking to your fingers. That's, that's another thing that you've done correctly. And so we're putting on the, the rest of the sour cream. We're going to put it on there. And then I like to drop it here and there and then just kind of spread it out. So now I'm... Going ahead and try to make an even layer of the sour cream. And we'll put that little glob back down and make it a little smoother. And again, if you like the taste of the Sara Lee ones when they first started, you'll sour cream cheesecakes, you'll certainly like this. And it's really not that hard. And, and you'll be I'm sure you're grateful that I kept the video short. <laughs> I'll pop that back in and the oven is now 400 degrees and I'm not too worried about being too smooth because we're going to be covering it with as I said we're going to be covering it with cherries on one half and we'll melt some chocolate chip bits and make some chocolate icing or chocolate to put for my wife's side because she loves she's a chocoholic I think it's already well known if you know my wife that she is okay Voila, 400 degrees, 5 to 10 minutes, and we're good. Okay. So, that's a good. You can see the steam coming off it. Oh, sh Yeah, so that baked down there. That is my wonderful Aunt Mary, the Palatano's cheesecake recipe. Now you know how to make it, and if you have any questions, just, uh, hey. Facebook me uh, on the North Chicago site or however else you want to contact me and I'll, we'll go over it. So, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's to everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here in the Ferrella living room and we have a special guest star that wants to sing us a Christmas song to end off this wonderful cheesecake <laughs> episode. And who is it? Hello, Hello. Santa! Hello, everybody! Ho, ho, ho! Take it away! Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he returned and the soul felt its worth. 
the thrill of hope. The weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, oh hear the angel voices, oh night divine, oh night when Christ was born, oh night divine, oh holy night. <laughs> Happy holidays! <laughs> She's always got to get the last word in. <laughs>